how God has developed and challenged you guys to grow in the faith and the ways that you have. And I'm thankful for how um, you guys have come together through all the trials and challenges you guys have been going through this year and how you guys are so faithful and willing to rely on God through all that. And um, I just want to express how thankful I am and how encouraged I am to see how you guys have developed into a real woman of God and how you guys are breaking down your barriers and continue to rely on each other and learn what that means. And through the grace and truth that you guys show each other, it's been encouraging to know that you guys are sticking together and not letting it um, get too uh, much of a barrier for each of you guys. I just want to pray and ask that you guys continue to do that and be an example of women, as you guys already are. Uh, take care and have a good night. Hey Priscilla, uh, I just want to say happy Valentine's Day. Um, I really enjoyed the other night getting to know you better and talking to you. Um, sorry we didn't get to finish the Nigeria, Egypt, or Brazil. I don't remember the last one. Um, but yeah, I just I just want to thank you for being honest and sharing with me about your life. You didn't have to. Um, and thank you for listening to me. I know I talk a lot, uh, but thank you for listening to me anyway. Um, I guess to start off, I just want to encourage you. Um, encourage you by, you know, well... I, I'm I'm glad to have you as a family in Christ, and you know I hope I hope you feel the same. That's kind of why I asked you the other night. You know what do you think about your Buffalo family? You know I hope you see us as your family, your new family in Christ. And who knows, maybe one day your parents, um, they'll come to believe too. You know I'll I'll be sure to pray for you uh, from time to time for that, and maybe we can pray together because you know my family ain't, ain't Christian either. Um, and I think. I think, but the second thing I want to say to you, um, I actually, I've been wanting to say it for a while since like last semester and a little bit of a sophomore year towards the end, is um, it really encouraged me when you started stepping stepping up and uh, I guess taking more of a leadership role, and that really encouraged me because number one, you're well, you're younger than me, and it's like oh wow, you know, like she's already stepping up. And number two, I know that Buffalo, we lacking like we were lacking like you know older sisters to look up to a lot of times, and you know it's really hard and scary to step up and say you know I want to do this. Here I am, send me. But you know here you were, you went up and you did it, and that really encouraged me and even challenged me, especially as a guy, because I mean around me I have like all these guys, you know to get my back, and yet I'm always like oh I'm scared, I don't want to do it. Um, but you know you were there and you're like oh, I'm gonna do it. And that really encouraged me and challenged me 
and uh, that's what I wanted to say to you. Um, so yeah, thank you, and once again, happy Valentine's Day. I hope we get to hang out more in the future, and we could even study together, right? Anatomy. Woo! Okay. All right. Peace and pound. Happy Valentine's Day, Maggie. I just want to um, thank you again for being my date. And, um, you know, I had a great, wonderful time with you. And I hope that the rest of the semester is going to be an awesome time for you, too. I hope um, you don't get too stressed out from all your schoolwork and everything else in your life. I'll say the one thing that I learned about you last night that really touched me was especially about, um, about your grandma and your situation and how you can't be there right now. Um, you know, I, I pray the Lord... Um, you know, I know that the, um, your grandma, when, when her time comes, she will be in heaven. And um, you will see her you know, so in the afterlife. So um, I hope you find comfort where I can find comfort knowing that. And um, you know, definitely, you know, I, I appreciate you. And um, I just want to tell you that um, you're a lot tougher than you um, realize. You know, I think it's amazing how you can move from... Um, you know, move from different places, live in chi live in Asia, China, and then and then be here in the USA and adjust. Um, adaptability is um, something that a lot of people don't want to deal with, and they struggle with all their lives. But um, you know, um, how people adapt it definitely shows their character. And um, I think you, I think you're an amazing person, and I think um, I'm so blessed that, to have you as my sister and technically um, neighbor. Um, but now again, I just wanted to say thank you and uh, how grateful I am to God to have me meet you. Um, and really, I know you're going to have a lot of um, hard times with schoolwork and you're having dif difficulties making decisions, especially about um, PCB. But I pray that you choose, the one, you choose the one that you feel God calls you to choose. And um, I hope, you know, that you would be so firm with your choice that um, the Lord has called you to do, that you, you won't look back, you know? And uh, happy Valentine's Day again. So fine, oh my. Hey Amanda, um, we didn't get much to hang out that night, but it was great spending that, those like, what, 30 minutes we had. Um, you did a very good job uh, keeping the waitress away. <laughs> Can we see the dessert menu? Good job, good job. Um, no, one thing that I, that inspired me about you was when you were, we were in the car and you were just telling me about your, your gymnastics meet and how there were like girls that were like just up there and they were good. And then, and then I asked you, were you discouraged? Did you feel like terrible? And you were like, no, no, no. Um, you know, it was really inspirational and that, that was inspiring to me. Because I've been in situations like that before, and I just felt like ter I just felt terrible. But I think you have a very good outlook on it. Um, we should definitely hang out more um, if you study, if you study that is. Um, so, yep. Yeah, thanks for coming that night. I enjoyed it. Um, Hello, Lily. Look at your man. Now back to me. No. Oh wait, I am your man. Look up, look down, where are you? You're in a library with the man who actually is your man. Look away, look back, what's in my head? I have it. Two tickets to the movie you love. Look again, the tickets are now Bibles. Anything is possible when your man loves Jesus and not the world. I'm in a rocking chair. Hey Becky, thank you so much for being a wonderful sister in Christ to me and for exemplifying what it means to be really walking the spirit. It's been such a privilege to have seen you grown um, from being a girl who would run away from her problems to a woman who fearlessly faces them because you're depending on Christ. And thank you so much for Saturday night. I had a wonderful time. And Becky, I just want you to know that despite your past, you're the perfect wounded healer. And that despite feeling like a broken rose, know that Jesus Christ wants you, a broken rose, to be his valentine. So happy Valentine's Day, Becky.
women. Uh, just wanted to say that, uh, well, I'm sure everyone's saying that, that uh, we appreciate uh, you and what you guys uh, are doing, uh, standing up against the world, not conforming to its standards, and uh, living uh, a life boldly as a woman uh, uh, in Christ. And uh, I personally want to say uh, thank you for doing so. I think um, it's such a great thing now seeing the, uh, a multitude of women coming in Epic and not just coming but being built up. Uh, some of you stepping up as a leader um, to, to stand against um, what the tides of this world may um, bring and uh, influence on you, but stand against that and uh, live boldly for the gospel. I think that's great. Um, praise God for that. And uh, I think personally what I want to say, since it's Valentine's Day, and I'm supposed to say something, I guess, as a man, um, forgive us men <laughs> for being boys. Uh, forgive us men for not always being the best. Uh, forgive us men for uh, maybe not catering to you um, uh, because, I don't know, awkwardness and, and whatnot. Because maybe, especially for me, I don't know how to deal, uh, really appreciate sisters well. I think uh, me and Chris, and maybe even Mushroom too, uh, we served with mostly just men because only men were around. And there weren't many real women. Uh, that's right, you're real women around and uh, I just want to say I'm really thankful for you guys and I, I pray that you'll uh, continue to fan the flame of the gospel in your hearts uh, to serve him to glorify him uh, as, as a, a woman ought to whatever that is I'm still learning that in this book I'm still learning I'm only on chapter two but I'll know soon I'll know soon but um yeah thanks forgive us boys pray that we'll become men and uh be able to edify you and love you even more and I just want to say uh, I do love each and every one of you and I pray that um, yeah, you guys will continue to be that role model of what a true woman of God is. Thanks. Well ladies, as you can tell, they're a crazy group but you gotta love them. And I appreciate so much the time we spent with you last night and hoping that you had a good Valentine's Day. And today, as Valentine's Day, you'll be enjoying your time as well, too. As you know, uh, Valentine's Day is named after St. Valentine, who was a Christian martyr who helped bring uh, sight to the uh, blind girl. And that's one of the miracles that he did. And I hope that uh, God brings a special light into your life today and that uh, his love is uh, shed abroad in your heart and you get to know him better as a result of... Um, spending time with us. We appreciate so much uh, your care and affection for all of us and just ask God's blessing be on you. And with that, I'm going to say over and out. Yeah.